When, doctor, did you first start experimenting with LSD? Uh, six years ago. And that was during the time that you were on the faculty? I was uh, teaching psychology at Harvard. I've been a psychologist for 15 years. Right. And I've come to the sorry conclusion that uh, psychology wasn't doing much to solve the uh, emotional or the mental problems of the human uh, race and taking the American people. So I went to Mexico, and a friend of mine who was an anthropologist uh, told me about uh, a method which had been used by the Indians in Mexico, the medicine and the priests, uh, before the white man came. Uh, they used mushrooms, they called sacred mushrooms. And he told me that uh, they grew, they still grow in the uh, mountains near Mexico City. So one afternoon, a sunny Saturday afternoon, six years ago, he brought over a bag of these mushrooms, and I ate seven of them. And I learned more about psychology, about the human mind, about the human situation in the five hours after the human lesson that I had. They had a five hour effect. Five hour effect. I what learned is more uh, in those five hours than I had learned studying, uh, doing research in psychology and treating people as a psychotherapist. May I first ask you, yes, your title, doctor. My title? A, a medical doctor? No, I'm a uh, psychologist. Psychologist. Psychologist, right. It's estimated by the Federal Food and Drug Administration that perhaps 15 or 20 percent of our young people today are exploring their consciousness, trying to find out more about their minds using these uh, chemicals. But aren't the majority of them doing it for kicks? I don't think so. I I've been on many television programs uh, where middle-aged people sit around and shake their head and worry about the young people having kicks. And first of all, what is a kick? Uh, it is true that LSD uh, provides an ecstatic experience. It, it gives you an incredibly pleasant experience. But this pleasure is not the pleasure that you get from a, a bottle of beer, or that you get from watching even a good television show. The pleasure you get from uh, LSD is being tuned in. You're turned on to your own nervous system. You're turned on to uh, your own body. You're turned on to the incredible wisdom which lies inside every cell in your body. It's the ex ecstasy that a scientist gets when he suddenly uh, has something open up to him. There are cautions with it, aren't there, Doctor? That, it, that uh, a, a young person cannot go out and take LSD. We, we read in papers of cases. Recently, a boy in the Lower East Side here thought he suddenly could fly and attempted to jump out the window. It doesn't work. It doesn't have the same effect on every human being. Oh, absolutely. Uh, when you take LSD or psycho psychedelic drugs, like putting a microscope on your eyes, it stays there for eight hours. Now, for the first half hour, you have these microscopes on, and it's wonders, revelation. It's a deep religious experience. You realize that there's more uh, beauty and more meaning and there's this intelligent plan inside your brain. It's delightful. But then after about an hour or two or three, and they say, well, now that's been interesting, I'd like to take, I'd like to go back to uh, mother's apple pie and to uh, uh, automobiles and so forth, but you can't. See, the LSD experience lasts about eight hours. Now, it's true that the unprepared person gets frightened when he takes LSD. But uh, this is a new form of energy. I'm in the unfortunate position of being about 20 years ahead of my time. Now, whenever you're 20 years ahead of your time, you're in a risky position because it always takes one generation.